Now, the Bantu originated in Western Africa between modern-day Eastern Cameroon and Western Nigeria. The Bantu were and are an African people which encapsulate over 500 different ethnic groups, all of whom speak one or more of the 500 Bantu languages inclusive of Zulu, Shona and Swahili. The Bantu people expanded out of Western Africa between 3000 and 1000 BC. The Bantu people first moved eastwards and established themselves just north of the Zaire River. It was at this stage that the language of the Bantu splintered into two main clusters, namely West Bantu and East Bantu. These two sections of the Bantu people then migrated separately. The migration and expansion into other regions of Africa took two directions. The first groups moved southward and soon occupied the regions of modern-day Angola, Zambia and Congo. By 500 BC, the Bantu peoples had reached the rainforests of Central Africa. They infiltrated the forests and swamps between the Sangha and Ubangi rivers. This first group also moved into the woodlands of southwestern Zaire and later Namibia. Now the second groups moved eastwards to occupy the region around the Great Lakes in what is today East Africa in 1000 BC. The push southeastwards continued down to the Zambezi River. Next, they moved into the region of Makura in Mozambique and Kilimanjaro. The Bantu expansion reached South Africa, probably as early as 300 AD. The mass migration lasted over 2,000 years, and the Bantu people eventually went on to set up many powerful African kingdoms, inclusive of the Mutapa Empire and Great Zimbabwe in Southern Africa. The reason that the Bantu migrated across Africa from their original location are thought to be because their rulers wanted to expand their territory and establish new empires. Also, the fertile grasslands of the Sahara began to dry up and the Bantu wanted to use the iron working that they had perfected in Western Africa in agricultural development in new areas. The Bantu expansion had many benefits for Africa, as technological developments in iron smelting and iron working were spread around the entire continent. Food production increased and hunting was now supported with agricultural development and land cultivation across Africa. After the Bantu expansion, many of the great kingdoms of Southern Africa were ruled by Bantu people who tended to be highly resourceful and adaptable. Speakers of Bantu languages became present throughout much of Southern Africa. Two main, two main groups developed. The Sututswana, who lived in the interior plateau, and the Nguni, Xhosa, Zulu, Swazi, who occupied the eastern coastal plains. This great expansion provided the foundations for what would become the composition of African peoples across the continent. <laughs>